In this video, we're going to explain how to sketch graphs of antiderivatives. Here's an example. The graph of lowercase f is given below. Here's the blue line, that's the graph. Sketch the graph of the antiderivative of the antiderivative capital F of little f with capital F of 0 equals 0. So capital F is the antiderivative of little f. And we're specifying that the value of capital F at 0 is equal to 0. OK, so how do we do this? Well, since capital F is an antiderivative, it means that if I take the derivative of capital F, I get lowercase f. That's what antiderivative means. So when I'm looking at this graph of lowercase f, I'm really looking at the graph of the derivative of capital F. So I'm given the, the graph of the derivative of F, and I'd like to produce the graph of F on this set of axes. So here's the graph of capital F, of the derivative of capital F. So what does the derivative tell me about F? Well, if the derivative is positive, then the function f is increasing. If the derivative is negative, then the function f is decreasing. So between 0 and 1, when x is between 0 and 1, the graph of capital F is below the axis, meaning that f prime is negative. And therefore, f is decreasing. Negative derivative means the function is decreasing. After 1, between 1 and 4, the graph of f prime, capital F prime, lies above the axis. So that means capital F is increasing over that interval. So between 1 and 4, the derivative is positive. It's above the axis, and so f is increasing. In fact, we can do better than that. We can actually determine how much we've increased and decreased by using the definite integral. OK, so let's use this information to graph capital F. So what do I know about capital F? Well, capital F of 0 is 0. So that means that if I draw on the axes, this is the origin. This is, corresponds to x equals 0 and y equals 0. So that's the first point I can draw based on this data. Now I'd like to figure out what's the value of capital F at, say, 1. Well, at 1, there's been a total change in the function given by the area of this triangle. Of course, it's below the axis, so it's a negative change. The function's decreasing between 0 and 1. How much is it decreasing by? It's decreasing by this area. This area is 1 half of the area of this square, which has area 1. So the area is 1 half. So that means that between 0 and 1, capital F decreases by 1 half. So that means that capital F goes down to that point. But it's decreasing at a steady rate. It's not decreasing straight. It decreases at a steady rate. It goes down. And it goes down to 1 half, so negative 1 half. Okay, that's the decrease. Now, after 1, as we saw before, f prime is positive, and therefore f is increasing. How much does it increase? Well, between 1 and 2, it increases by the area of this triangle. The area of this triangle is also 1 half. So it increases by 1 half. So by the time we get to 2, 
here's 2, we've increased by 1 half. That cancels the original uh, decrease. So we decrease by 1 half, that's this triangle, then we increase by 1 half. That gets us back to where we started, which is at 0. And then, between 2 and 3, we increase by this much. How much is that? Well, it's the area of this, rect uh, this rectangle, which is uh, really a square. It's a 1 by 1 square, so the area here is 1, plus the area of this triangle. So that's 1 and a half, or 3 halves. So we have to go up from 2, up, up here at 0, when the value is 0, up by 3 halves. So going up by 1 gets us to uh, here, but then up to 3 halves gets us to here. So the graph, the, ch the, new, cha the new value at 3 is 3 halves. And then to get to 4, we make an additional change. We look at the graph, the area here. The area here is basically the same, but now they're two squares, one square, two square, and then a triangle. That area is altogether two and a half, or five halves. So we move up by another two and a half. So from three halves, we move up half. That gets us to this value, a two. So that gets us to two. Then we move up by another 2, so that gets us up to here, but that's the value at 4. Okay, so between change between 3 and 4, going up is 2.5. That's the area of this purple. Okay, so that's a sketch of the graph of capital F, given the graph of F, uh, capital F prime, which was equal to the original function lowercase f.